We've mentioned it many times. I've described it many times, but we're far in now where I can repeat ourselves about Rappe because we, we, we did... Uh, as far as I'm concerned, we, we've already said everything we've already said. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't care. Let's yeah. just keep going. We'll catch something new. Rappe, especially this one, is such a beautiful Amazonian mix of their sacred tobacco, ashes of different plants. Um, most tribes in the Amazon, in Peru, Brazil... Anywhere where they have the Amazon at their fingertips, they these tribes create this rape powder. It's like their traditional powder for that tribe. And what it is is basically, um, it's like a, it's a very, it's the, the tobacco in its most natural form, which is like 10 times the strength of our tobacco. Mm. And yeah. And there's, it's not mixed with, it's not like no. when people say tobacco, they think cigarettes and the, and the cigarettes we have, even the rolling tobacco that we have, like it's, it's, it's there's I, stuff in there. It's like, enhanced. It's, it's meant to make you addicted even mm -hmm. and always want more and crave. And it's just, and it's the purity has gone. I don't even know what our tobacco is right now. It's, and the, it's like quick burn paper yeah. that's like treated with something too, probably. Yeah. If you ever notice, well, you quick burn, it, it never burns out a cigarette. It just goes to the end, no matter the temperature. I mean, if it's like crazy tornado, hurricane type <laughs> of temperature, yeah. It'll just make it burn more. <laughs> if it's, if there's wind, it'll just burn faster. And that's not natural. That doesn't happen. You know, that's something put in there to increase it. So, mm -hmm. So anyway, this rape is its purest form mixed with ashes of different plants and herbs. And you basically shoot it up the nostril. Someone usually serves it to you. And what that, they do this in ceremony when they have tribal meetings, when they do ayahuasca, rape is usually paired with it. And the best way to describe it, if any of you have never heard of it or are planning on trying it, is it's just like deeply centering and when I, I don't mean that word lightly, it really is centering and it's hard to illustrate what that means. But I found a comparison is like when you hit that balancing pose in yoga, where it's like a warrior pose or whatever, or the toppling tree pose or tree pose, there's like that brief second where you found gravity direct line through your body and you like, you got the position it's there and you're mindless. Cause as soon as you ever thought you fall off, mm -hmm. that's the feeling of rapé. It's just like your entire center, your balance is like, purely lined up and there's just no more room for thought it's just like a meditative state exactly yeah, yeah. The, uh, there's this physical like strengthening of like your your spine wanting to be straight yes. in a weird way so there is this literal centering and then that all of that mixes into like all, that language is is on purpose you know like there is this uh it feels it feels like heavy but like in a strong way not in like a shoulders drooping kind of way but like in in this like solidifying way and yeah. and you feel like um you feel like there's a bar going through your body like from from sun to core of yeah. like you're just fong and and the chakra system it feels like all your chakras are just lining up perfect perfect energy source and the flow is just going directly through yeah there's a, there's a lightness uh, like a, after the obviously like at, at first you're like oh my god what's <laughs> in my face yeah but then there's this like like um what's his name alan watts he, he would say like when something's working right you don't feel it you mm -hmm. know so it's not like i'm aware of my chakra so points true. or something there's just this kind of like air there's this like flow that's there all of a sudden even yeah. though there's like a powder in your fucking lungs you know and you're like Duh. yeah <laughs> that's so true though it's something's working right you don't feel it that's so crazy and it's like you can use that example for everything. You hit, you bang your your big toe, and all of a sudden you feel your big toe everywhere you're going, and every movement you're like, "Fuck, I, it's fucking toe," you know. And, and but we just take it for granted, you know. All these things are operating perfectly. That's why in martial arts and jujitsu and in anything, when you injure something, I use martial arts because it happens all the time. Is but let's say you hurt your knee. All of a sudden, you're so aware of how often your knee is being used in every type of position mm -hmm. rolling in bed i remember when i tore my knee in in wrestling just like tossing and turning in bed like we do all the time was a hassle and i had to consciously do it because any extra movement really tweaked the knee and, and it, was, it changes how you move it might even change how you sleep like forever yeah you, you have this unconscious like sleep uh, awareness mm. You know, like kids used to, like you, you used to, you roll out of your bed when you're a kid because you don't like have it That's yet. That's a good point. I used to wake up on the floor. <laughs> it was the weirdest thing. I have people who grab the blanket and just pass out again. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, huh? And I get back into bed. Some people just like, <laughs> whatever. Yeah.